Good luck. <laughs> Enjoy the shared trip down memory lane and may the best player win. Hey, Dad, it's Isaac. You're not picking up, so I'm just going to leave a voicemail. There's you got no, to believe me. There is no plan, because all I've been doing is suffering, and you no, haven't helped me one bit. Isaac, let's pray. No, man, fuck that shit. Isaac, no, please. Don't touch me, man. I don't fucking, I'm not subscribing to this bullshit. There's no fucking God, because if there was a God, he wouldn't have made me. God has a bigger plan for you. Yeah, okay. And it's not suicide. If you commit suicide, you don't go to heaven. I'm sure God has a great plan for me, and that's of the doctor. Of course he does. You got your shot, I got my shit. Fucking whore. You want to stay in here with your dad and his bitch ass girlfriend? Are All you right. serious? Well, I actually, you know what I do? It's those video games. That's my escape. Oh, that's I can put the headphones on and enter my own little world. I don't have to hear fucking Mary's bitch ass voice, so. Well, Isaac, this is the world of Eve. Your virtual playground. Eve is great. The game, the game is incredible. I, I, I've genuinely, you know, I played it all. Look, I played games my whole fucking life. I've been a gamer, but I've never played anything as crazy and as real as this shit. I just don't know what the fuck to do. Do you know what to do? It's a fucking battle royale. It's last man standing. Uh. Like like uh, Fortnite, PUBG, uh, H1Z1, like those kinds of games. That's gonna be the last man standing. You know who that is, right? I, I didn't. It's ask me. That. I've never played something as good as this. Um, I think this game's gonna change the world. I really do. Like what you and Abraham built. This is just a game. This is a place for us to go to get away from everything that we're dealing with. I mean, think about it. You had a bad life. Now you can all of a sudden go in there and have a good life. You have a good life? Go in there and be a badass! You either escape or confront. Or maybe it's not something to confront, maybe it's just something that you just welcome. It always catches back up with you. It'll bite you in your fucking ass. No matter how far you try to run. Do you ever do things that you're not really proud of? But you said fuck it, let's do it anyway. I genuinely feel like a different person after playing it. Which is fucking crazy to say because it's just a game. But it felt, it felt real. It felt like a dream. And you know, so I don't know, some parts felt like a nightmare. That I couldn't wake up from. Dad! <laughs> But 
but it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. Like, I lost people, and I met new people that I never met before in real life, so I don't know how that's possible. It was just fun. It made me happy. And it just, it just, <laughs> I, it helped me escape. <laughs> and it made me, you know what, it made me realize my life's not that bad. He's my only real friend. Oh, what the Why? fuck? Yo! I'm trying to help you! We come in here, your family! You ruin everything! Come on! Don't Just get my me. face, boy! <laughs> and I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I ever am like just a dickhead to you or mom or whatever. I you you're the one that abandoned us, so who else am I gonna take it out on? You get the perfect fucking life out here. If you're gonna act like this, then I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Mom, please. No. I talked to Joseph. I'm real sorry about your stepmom. You guys talk? All the time. You talk about me? That's all he ever talks about you. Fucking right. Everything he does, he does for you. I have a lot to be happy and grateful for, so I think this game is really good. I'm proud of, of what you've made, Dad. I love you. I'll be home soon. <laughs>